Hi everybody. In this problem, we're going to look at another labor demand example, and um, and so in this one, we're actually going to be looking at equilibrium wage and employment. So we're going to use a labor supply function and a labor demand function, uh, yeah, to find that equilibrium wage and then see um, see about unemployment. Uh, so we'll do we'll do this and then we'll change around the wage, um, change around, put in a minimum wage. And, and see what happens. So uh, to do this, we just, in the equilibrium, we know that uh, quantity supplied is equal to quantity demanded at some wage. And so we're going to find that wage by setting these equal to each other, plugging in the formulas from above, 10 plus W equals 40 minus 4W. Uh, consolidate the wage over on one side equal to 30. So W equals 30 over 5, or $6. So equilibrium wage is $6. And then we can take that wage and plug it back into these formulas to calculate um, quantity supplied and quantity demanded for labor. So ES, supply of employment, 10 plus W, that's 10 plus 6, or 16. And demand for labor, 40 minus 4W is 40 minus 4 times 6 is 24, and that's also 16. So in equilibrium, as we should expect, quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. Um, and so we have no unemployment. Everybody who wants a job has one. And all the firms who want a worker has 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 all the workers. Okay, but now let's suppose that we put in a, uh, a minimum wage of eight dollars. So replacing this six, um, we can then calculate what's the quantity demanded, what's the quantity supplied, and just plug in the eight dollars for the wage. So employers will hire the quantity demanded. That's forty minus four times eight. So 40 minus 32 is eight for quantity demanded. Uh, and then people who would like to work, people who want to work, this is supply of labor, 10 plus W. So 10 plus eight is 18. So we can see um, the number of people who would like to work at this wage is 18. The number of people who are actually hired is eight. Um, previously, 16 people were hired and 16 people wanted to work. So the difference here is now, all right, uh, eight people are gonna lose their jobs. Right, that's the 16 from the first part of the problem up above. Quantity supplied of, uh, sorry, quantity demanded of labor moves from 16 down to 8. So 8 jobs are lost. Um, and two people have entered the labor force. Right, at the lower wage, only 16 people wanted to work. Um, now, 18 people want to work. So the labor force are all of these people who would like to be working. And with that, we can calculate, um, we can calculate the, the minimum wage. Right? These people here are the people who are unemployed. Right? Eight have lost their jobs, but they would be willing to work at this price, um, and two more people also entered the, the labor force. So there are 10 people unemployed or 10 people who are willing to willing to work. Labor force is 18. So we can calculate the unemployment rate. That's equal to the number of people unemployed over the labor force. So that's 10 over 18. Calculate that and you'll get 
56.6% uh, unemployment. Okay, so that's uh, that's the the approach. We just uh, take our you know take our supply and demand formulas um, and plug in the appropriate wages as they either calculate the equilibrium wage or um, put in a, a separate wage and see if it has any impact on the on the outcomes. Okay, and then think about those people who are willing to work um, but aren't, and remember that. The number of jobs actually comes from the, the quantity demanded uh, for work, and then the supply comes from the workers. All right, that'll do it for this question. Um, see you in the next video. Thanks.